So, do you want me to build you your own personal scoreboard? Well, all you have to do is just simply follow a few quick and easy steps. Just make sure to smash this like button of this video, smash the subscribe button and turn on post notifications and then leave a comment down below letting me know that you have done these things and also leave a comment telling me what kind of squad you want me to build and I can do that for you. But without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. Yo, 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 what is going on guys? It's your boy RRB Plays here back again with yet another FIFA 20 squad builder on this channel and as you guys can probably tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be showcasing probably one of the best 400k teams that does include the new Europa League live Mbappé, the road to the final Mbappé and already Mbappé's card as it looks right now is amazing so just imagine if this card can actually get to the final but anyways, this is actually an SBC that you guys have to complete by doing some challenges so if you guys have done this challenge or thinking about doing this challenge um then here's just an amazing 400k team to build around this card um but yeah man before i do go ahead and jump into this 400k squad builder make sure you guys do in fact smash that like like button if you are enjoying these type of videos and also make sure you guys do subscribe and turn on post notifications if you guys are new around here but anyways enough of me talking let's go ahead and dive into the video baby let's get it let's go <music> Okay guys, as you can see on your screens right now for this amazing 400k hybrid, we're going to be using the 433 third variation, um, but that is only just to get everyone on full chemistry that is in fact an alternative formation, a more overpowered formation that I do recommend using with this team. So I will show you what that formation actually is once I've shown you guys the whole team. So now that I've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the first player of this amazing 400k hybrid and in the striker position, we do have the man himself, Timo Werner. Honestly, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, who is this guy? Who is this guy? I'm not, I don't want you. I don't want you. I want Timo Werner. What is this game doing? Give me Timo Werner, the man himself. Honestly, man. The man himself, Timo Werner. He's an absolute beast of a player in this game. Even his normal goal card. Yes, we all know his inform is absolutely insane. But trust me, guys. This normal goal card is honestly just overpowered. I've used it so much this FIFA. And he's 100% being one of my favorite strikers to use this FIFA. Especially for his price. He is very, very cheap. And he's just very, very overpowered. He's clinical. He's pacey. And all also, his dribbling isn't too bad at all, honestly, man. He has a very, very good card. And as you guys can see there, he's got 93 acceleration, 92 sprint speed, 86 finishing, 85 attacking position, and he's got 83 dribbling, 84 ball control, and 81 agility. But honestly, man, he is very, very insane. So I do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up. And then to top it off, he does have a um, four-star week foot as well. So a very, very lovely card to have in your team. So let's move on now to the left wing position. And, uh... EA just EA, EA just doing what they do best, you know, just lagging. The game's lagging. I can't I can't pick I can't pick the player. I cannot pick the player. How long is this game gonna take? We can sit here for we can sit here for 20 minutes and wait, but you know what? Yeah, there we go. Look. <laughs> Yeah, again, in my last video that I recorded, I disconnected from EA servers and now it's doing it again. So you know what? I'll be back. Okay, finally we are back. Okay, guys, we are back. I've connected back to the EA servers. I actually don't know why that always happens, but anyways, let's talk about who's gonna be in that left wing position because we do have an absolutely insane cheat beast, and he goes by the name of Guedes. I'm not even sure how to pronounce that first name, so I'm just gonna call him by his last name, and that is Guedes. And honestly, man, I'm pretty sure everyone knows how insane this guy is. Like for his price, he's just honestly so overpowered. He's cheap, but he honestly is just sweaty, super, super sweaty, and just a, a beast in this game. He's very very good at shooting as well and as you guys can see there he's got four star weak foot and four star skill moves which is brilliant he's got 90 sprint speed 91 acceleration 77 finishing but in game does feel at least around 83 finishing which is a slight bonus and also his dribbling like everyone does know about this guy is very very good 86 dribbling and 82 agility and 81 ball control honestly a very very insane sweaty player to use in this game very very cheap but honestly does what he needs to do in that left wing position so i do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up and to complete the attacking trio we do have the man himself Serge Gnabry and man if you guys do watch me a lot on this channel you guys will know that I do like my Gnabry's man honestly Gnabry is absolutely insane in this game and actually right now at the time I'm recording he's on the shortlist um, to get the Bundesliga player of the month and if he does get Bundesliga player of the month depending on how much it costs I might have to do it honestly man because his goal card is just absolutely insane and I really really do like it but anyways man back to Gnabry's normal goal card he is absolutely insane he's got 92 acceleration 89 sprint 
speed. He's got 81 finishing, 86 shot power, 87 dribbling, and 86 agility, and then some other good dribbling stats as well. But overall, man, Serge Gnabry is in fact an absolute beast in this game, and I really do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up, man, because he will do some bits for you guys. He will score lots of goals. He'll create lots of chances for the other players that are around him, man. But honestly, man, he is a beast. But anyways, guys, we move on now to the centre mid position, who's actually going to be playing Cam, and it's the big boy, the big man himself, Marco Royce, hands down top three um one of the best plays that i've played with in this game so far honestly man marco royce is just 100 percent. he is so overpowered man i absolutely love him i actually did do a gameplay video with him um i think it was the team i had with him and son um yeah where son was up top royce was at cam and i'm telling you man royce at cam is just a dream he is absolutely insane in the cam position man honestly just so overpowered as you guys can see there four star weak foot which is his weak foot is honestly so so good if you guys did watch that gameplay video i did with son and royce you guys would have seen i think it was a 1.2 million coin team yeah it was a 1.2 million coin team um son of royce was in there royce managed to get a left foot goal top bins first time honestly he's absolutely insane so make sure you guys go in and pick him up man. but anyways four star weak foot and a uh, four star skill moves he's got 85 sprint speed 85 acceleration 87 finishing he is so clinical in this game um 87 long shots 88 shot power 87 dribbling 85 composure 88 ball control 86 agility i could talk all day about this man and how good his card is the the bottom line is just go ahead and get him man because honestly he will make you a lot better and you will just perform a lot better with this guy in your team man he is that overpowered so make sure you guys do go ahead and get him in your team but in the cdm position the anchor the stud in the team we do have informed thomas delaney the dortmund cdm man himself honestly this 84 rated m inform look honestly just so insane and i remember him using from fifa 19 since fifa 19 i've actually really liked him and this year again man i just think he is such a stud and he's just a rock he He's dominant in that CDM position. He is so hard to get past. And as you guys can see there, he's got 85 stand tackle, 90 slide tackle, 81 defensive awareness, 87 interceptions, and a 77 sprint speed and 80 acceleration. But honestly, man, this guy is very, very good. And also going forward, he isn't too bad with 73 finishing. So if on the odd occasion, you manage to get a shooting opportunity with Delaney, then he might put it away because his finishing isn't too bad at all. But gen um, genuinely, at defending, he is a rock. He is a beast. So make sure you guys do go ahead and get him, man. I really, really really do recommend you guys getting him but anyways let's move on now to the left cdm position and we do have a scream card the the first and only scream card of this team and he goes by the name of Carvalho. you do have scream Carvalho. actually does look very very overpowered in this game honestly he doesn't look too bad at all as you guys can see there's an 86 rated card four star weak foot six foot two which is also very very good and he's just a well-rounded card to use he's good at finishing and good at defending as you guys can see there he's got 82 stand tackle He's got 73 slide tackle, 94 strength, 83 interceptions, and then also he does have 76 sprint speed, 99 shot power, and 82 sprint speed. Yes, his acceleration isn't the best, but his sprint speed does make up for it. So I still do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up this Carvalho card. So let's go ahead now and move on to the left back. And in the left back position, we have the Barcelona Spaniard, and he goes by the name of Jordi Alba. No, it is not Junior Furpo, usually is my go-to man. But in this video, we're going to go for Jordi Alba, man. Jordi Alba does get the job done and i'm pretty sure you guys watching this video already know how good he is already um he's very very fast he's brilliant at defending and that's just jordi alba man literally just fast rapid and good at defending that's literally that all jordi alba is man he really does do what he needs to do and also his agility his dribbling isn't too bad either which is what makes him just so overpowered in this game so he's good going forward and good at defending so i really do recommend you getting jordi alba as you guys can see there he's got 83 stand tackle and 84 <coughs> slide tackle as well so honestly a very very good overpower card to you so that does complete the fullbacks let's go ahead now and move on to the center of the partnership and in the right center back position there's only one man fit for the job it's the man himself a kanji a cheap beast bro honestly this man is just a cheap beast he plays he, he, he just plays so well he is a definition of just a rock he is just a stone wall he is just i don't even know i can't think of any other words to describe this guy man but he is genuinely just insane he's fast and amazing at defending as you guys can see the 85 sprint speed the semi acceleration um which still average out his pace to be quite fast as well um he's got 85 stand tackle 85 defensive awareness and 84 strength honestly he's overpowered and a lot of people do like to use his card i see it a lot in foot champions and i can understand why man because he is very very good in this game so make sure you guys do go ahead and get him but anyways to partner up with a kanji 
in that CDM, uh, CDM to partner up with a Kanji in that centre back position and we do have the man himself Samuel and Titi and again if you guys watch me a lot you will know the love I have for this man the love I have for this man he is absolutely insane in this game man he really does get the job done he is just so incredible like honestly he he, he seems quite fast for me obviously his stats don't suggest that with 66 acceleration and 72 sprint speed but for me he is quite fast obviously I do have a shadow on him so maybe you can go ahead and get a shadow from, um, for yourself but he does an 88 standing tackle his standing tackle is absolutely sick it's insane he's got 85 slide tackle 87 defensive awareness 86 strength and 87 interceptions honestly one of my favorite cards um one of my favorite center back cards to use in fifa 20 man honestly just so insane and as you guys can see there he's got 59 games played for me um so he has played quite a bit for me um but honestly i just really do like him and i've actually bought him and sold him once because usually with foot champs i like to make a new team every week just to try out the best players in the game just to try out what players are overpowered so i can make these kind of videos for you guys um but yeah man i really do love him titty one of my favorite cards to use anyways enough about him titty let's move on now to the goalkeeper position and it's again one of my favorite plays in this game um in the goalkeeper position one of my favorite goalkeepers to use in this game and that's neto man honestly he's just my go-to uh, go-to go goalkeeper when i can fit him in because he is just very overpowered again like i always say about neto he just makes those saves when you don't expect him to when you think the opponent's gonna score bang neto just comes out of nowhere and just somehow grabs um a brilliant save so i really do recommend getting neto because he is very very overpowered but anyways guys that does complete the 400k hybrid but don't worry we aren't done here um like i did say we are we are not done here like i did say at the beginning of the video um there's a better formation which i do recommend that you guys use and so i'm going to show you uh, guys that formation right now and that formation is the 4231 um with the two dms and the three cams honestly this formation is insane i love it it works well for me so i do recommend you uh, you guys using this formation as well and just make sure that you guys do this in game make sure you guys do change this formation in game either by pausing it or just creating a custom tactic preset but if you guys are switch switching to this formation and then make sure you guys you, you guys have William Carvalho and Delaney as your two CDMs. Make sure you guys have Royce as your cam and uh, Serge Gnabry as your right cam, uh, Guedes as your left cam, and Timo Timo Werner in the striker position. That's how you want to structure the team in this formation. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys do think of this team down in the comment section below. Personally, I think it's absolutely overpowered. I think it's beastly, and I think this Mbappé card might be worth getting, man. If you guys can actually be bothered to do those challenges. Um, me personally, I don't think I'm gonna get them in the like four i think that you've got four days to do it i don't think i'm gonna get them done because of foot champs and just other things um but it does look like a very very good card and also remember this card um will upgrade i'm pretty sure because it is a europa league live card so it could be a brilliant investment and generally his normal gold card is already insane in this game um but yeah let me know what you guys think of this team your thoughts are appreciated if you guys did enjoy this video then make sure you guys do smash that like button also if you guys are new around here and watching this video then make sure you guys do smash that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you guys never miss an upload but anyways guys it's been your boy rrb place back again with another video and i'll catch you in tomorrow's video peace out baby